Once you've completed inventorying your service lines, it's time to put your findings into a report. Diamond Maps contains an EPA report template and several state-specific templates for you to choose from. Actually, we highly recommend that you do a test run of this report when you first start your inventory so that you can confirm if you have everything set up correctly. You don't want to wait until the end to learn that you've entered something in the wrong field. So here's how you do that. From your map, click the Menu button, then Special Purpose Tools, then Lead Service Line Inventory, and then Export Inventory Report. Indicate which map contains your service lines, and click the Pick button to choose your report format. Ideally, you should choose the same format that corresponds to the template you used when setting up this layer in Part 2 of the video series. For example, if you use the EPA template to set up your water services layer, then it will work best if you now choose the EPA form for your report. Click Next. The next screen displays a list of all the information needed by the selected report. In the right-hand column, you should indicate which field from your water services layer contains the requested information. If you set up your map layer based on the correct template, then this column should be mostly filled in for you. If a certain piece of information is not flagged as mandatory, then it's okay to leave that row blank. Just know that if the right column's blank, then that means no information will be put into that part of the report. The name of the field in your map layer doesn't have to exactly match the name of the report column. For example, your report may want a system-specific ID, and you may choose to use your map layer's account number to satisfy that requirement. There may be additional questions at the bottom of your screen. When you have the screen filled out, scroll to the bottom and click the Generate Report button. By the way, all your settings will be remembered for next time you run the report. It might take a minute to generate your report, but when it's done, the report will automatically download. My browser shows my recent download files right here at the bottom of the screen, but your browser might show them somewhere else. If you have Microsoft Excel on your computer, or some other program capable of viewing the report, then you can click on it to view it. Each state's report will look a little different, but there should be one of the tabs that lists the detailed inventory. This is the tab that Diamond Maps will fill in for you. As you can see here, we've transferred the information from your map layer into the appropriate columns. Your report may contain additional tabs of information that need to be completed by you before submitting your report. Now if this is just a test run of your report like I'm doing here, then you don't want to manually fill in any of this additional information in the report yet because next time you run this report it's going to create a whole separate file. In addition to the report file itself, you'll also see a link here to view a list of warnings. This will tell you, for example, anywhere you've left a required field blank, or if the value you entered doesn't match one of the acceptable values. The number at the beginning of each line tells you how many records had this same issue. If you happen to close the screen before you get a chance to view the error report, then you can go back to the lead service menu and view recent reports. We keep a list here of any reports you've ran in the last few weeks. As always, give us a call if you need help with any of these steps, or go to diamondmaps.com lead for an outline of these instructions.